Hi everyone and welcome. Today we're going to go over how to write a program using your TI Inspire calculator. So first we're going to open a new document, then go to Add Program Editor, and then click New. Here you can enter in a name, whatever you'd like. We're going to call it Example. However, you want to make sure that we are that it's short and simple. That way you remember what it is and it's easy to type in. We're going to change the type from a program to a function, so it should be a function. Then we're going to press OK. And here we have our program. Inside these parentheses is gonna is the input. The input is whatever you ins insert into the calculator. So we're gonna call it x. Here we're gonna write return. Return is the output, meaning what's gonna come out of the program. So let's say you want to do basic addition. We're gonna go two plus x. X is what we insert into the equation. So if we go to Control R to test out our program, we insert two. It should be 4 because 2 plus 2 equals 4. We can do it again. As in 3, it would equal 5. We could also do it, we also make it in any way possible. You can make your program however you like to tailor to whatever subject or math problem you are solving for. So let's say we're solving for square roots. We can do the same thing where you go to 4 and it'd be 2. Now, let's. I'm going to show you how to do an if else statement. We insert a new page with a new program. We can call it example2, change it to a function, boom. We got it. So we're going to keep our input as x. However, you can add multiple and however many you want. So we're going to do x comma y. So we're going to have two inputs. Then we're going to have a function. We're going to go to menu control and number three if then else and if so we can say if x equals nine and y equals two then the output would be x equals nine y equals two let's test that out so if it's nine and two it's perfect awesome However, if it doesn't equals nine equals if x doesn't equal nine and y doesn't equal two, because that's what we want in our program, we can say if it doesn't, then we can say it's incorrect. Let's test it out. Let's say x equals eight. Even though y equals two, they're not both the same. So it's gonna say incorrect. We can change this to do anything we want. For example, we can have x greater than nine and y um, is also greater than 2. We can have it take x and then add y. And if it doesn't, we can just have we can just have x minus y. So let's test it out. If x is greater than 9, which is 10, and greater than 2, so it's 3, they add to 13. However, if it doesn't, Let's say it's 8 and 1, it'll minus, just like how you wrote in the program. That's how we use the basics of programming. Once again, you can filter this to make it whatever you want for whatever you want. You can even use trig, degrees, anything. So have fun programming and good luck.